Hello and welcome to another edition of Ball State Sports LinkedIn. I'm Kyle Binder. Let's get to it starting with the Cardinals football team as they flew to Iowa to take on the number 18 Iowa Hawkeyes at Kinnick Stadium. The Cardinals defense held the Iowa offense to a scoreless first drive of the game, but that's as good as it got all day. The Cards go down 46-0 and drop to 1-3 on the year. But perhaps the biggest news was tight end Zane Fakes going down with a knee injury for the season on the very first drive. Here's Coach Parrish with more on the offensive line troubles. Anybody that was there saw the, the tremendous mismatch, uh, particularly up front, their defensive line against, uh, and I give our guys credit, we had uh, a makeshift offensive line and they tried, uh, but we just got overwhelmed. From the football turf to the field hockey turf, they too continued their road trip this past weekend. First, the team passed through number 17 Kent State on Saturday, where they fell hard with an 8-2 loss. And on Sunday, the team headed south to Ohio University as they dropped their fourth game in a row and lost 7-0. Now to the soccer field, where the Cards started off MAC play by hosting Western Michigan on Friday and traveling to Northern Illinois on Sunday. The Cards failed to score a point in either match, falling 3-0 to Western and 1-0 to Northern. Despite the weekend struggles, the overall turnaround of the program can be credited in part to Coach Roberts and his foreign recruits. SportsLink's Luke Barron and Patrick Leahy have more on the international trio. We try and bring a little bit of diversity, whether it's within the culture that they bring to the table or in the style of play. All three players come from different countries. Shanice Thorpe is from Jamaica, Kaisa Bjorn is from Finland, and Mamie Morris is from England. Well, I've always wanted to come to America and play. Obviously, like the opportunities are much better over here. I've always wanted to experience, you know, a place away from home. So when I got this opportunity, I thought it was very good. You can catch that full story by tuning in to SportsLink Be A Fan Show premiering tomorrow night, September 29th on WIPB, Comcast Indiana, and Fox College Sports. Finally, on to women's volleyball. They went on the road Friday to start MAC play against a 14-1 Northern Illinois squad. The Huskies had a 2-1 set lead when the Cards rallied with two set wins in a row to win the match 3-2. On Saturday, however, the team didn't have quite the same result at Western Michigan as they lost in three straight sets. After the weekend, the volleyball team is now 11-3 and 1-1 in the MAC. That's all for this edition of LinkedIn. For interviews and more coverage, go to bsusportslink.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. We'd also like to thank our partners at First Merchants Bank for all their support. For all of us here at Ball State Sports Link, I'm Kyle Binder, and now you're LinkedIn.